What's the value of good advice? Well, that's a question that subway riders might be asking after the MTA spent millions on consultants who urged the closure of the L train tunnel during upcoming construction. Well, now that there's a plan to keep the tunnel open, our I team wants to know how much the MTA paid for the advice that it's not taking. But as Chris Glorioso reports, it's a subject the MTA would prefer not to talk about. Algebra teacher Sina Bayar is like lots of L train commuters. She is bewildered by the 180 degree switcheroo. First, the East River Tunnel had to be closed to fix damage caused by Superstorm Sandy. But then Governor Cuomo enlisted a team of academics who found a new construction strategy and a way to keep the L train tunnel open. I feel like it's the governor trying to like be a hero. The change in strategy happened after more than two years of planning and despite millions spent on private consultants who are supposed to give the MTA world-class advice. Well, then they didn't do consulting very well if the governor was able to come up with a different plan. This is a 2016 engineering report called the Final Constructability Review. It makes no mention of the governor's plan to keep the tunnel open. So now that the MTA is not following this advice, how much did it cost? An MTA spokesman declined to say how much the report cost, so the I-team took our question directly to the MTA president, Andy Byford. Mr. Byford, um, I have some questions about the consultant contracts on this project. At this emergency meeting of the MTA board, we showed Byford that final constructability review. It was authored by Jacobs Engineering and clearly says full tunnel closure is the preferred approach. How much did this consultant study cost and should the MTA get a refund for it? Byford listened, but he did not answer our question. According to contracts recorded by the State Comptroller's Office, in the last four years, two consultants working on the L train project, WSP and Jacobs, have inked deals with the MTA worth about $300 million. It's not clear what part of that dollar figure relates to L train work and what part may relate to other MTA projects. But several MTA board members questioned the failure of paid consultants to identify solutions the governor's team found for free. We should have been hearing this from people who we pay. Do you think the credibility of these consultants is undermined? Well, there's a lot of money flowing through consultants here, and I think uh, I was joking with somebody and I said, I wonder if we get a refund. An MTA spokesman defended WSP and Jacobs as invaluable advisors, pointing out a lot of their work involved station upgrades unrelated to the tunnel closure, and those consultants provided data that was the foundation for the governor's experts. We have worked tirelessly with them providing um, piles of data and reports that have been prepared over the past years. I don't know the answer, but I know I have a trust problem now, and I don't know what to believe. Back on the L train, Sina Bayar also has a trust problem. She relies on this subway to get to work, and she is thrilled there are plans to keep the tunnel open. But for this math teacher, something doesn't add up about the MTA's spending on L train consultants. The MTA's wisdom and how they spend their money has always been questionable to riders because we keep paying more and we never see any kind of improvements. This week, the MTA board doubled down on its use of consultants for the L-Train project. The agency plans to hire a third independent consultant to review the governor's plan to keep the tunnel open. So in essence, the MTA will be paying a new consultant on top of the old consultants who will be carrying out a plan recommended for free by a team of academics. Chris Glorioso, News 4, New York.